Good morning and muy buenos dias. I miss cool race class. Today it's gonna look a little differently. Obviously you're not gonna have me live, but I'm gonna pretend that you're in my class right now. So I'm gonna be calling on people. I'm gonna be just asking you to, to answer questions. And, and yeah, this, um, this, this is how class will be today. So at this moment, here's what you need. You're gonna need your packet. This is Tuesday. You're gonna need a pencil. Um, so please make sure you have that ready. And I'm gonna need your attention on the screen. I'll give you a couple seconds for you to get your materials ready. Coming back in three, two, and one. All right, today we're gonna be solving problems related to perimeter and area particularly of rectangles. We've done this in the past. Remember, this is our review because we got to keep practicing. Um, but, but yeah, you're going to be solving problems related to perimeter and area of rectangles where dimensions are whole numbers. Yesterday, you work on decimal numbers. Not today. Today, we are going to be mostly um, seeing whole numbers. Okay, let us get started. Now, before we get started, I want you to think of of just area and perimeter okay two different things that are related and now it's important that you know the distinction between the two now because later on in fifth grade you're going to be learning about volume not yet okay you need to get really good at understanding how to find well really what is area what is perimeter and how to find each of those remember think about this classroom right um, this class, really the, the, the base of the classroom, which is where we're standing, has an area, right? It takes up space. It also has a perimeter, which is the, 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 what is in the outline, right? So when you think of area, when you think of perimeter, think of one perimeter, and you can go ahead and underline, um, go ahead and underline whatever I underline here. It's what is the area around. So I'm sorry, the space or the length around, right? So when I'm talking about the perimeter of this classroom, it's all of this. Here, let me show you. Thing. It's all of this. Then you go here. You go all the way back and then to that corner and then go like this to this corner and then you bring it all the way back to the original corner where you started. Now that's the perimeter. It's the, the amount of length, the amount of space around, in this case, a rectangle. The area, it's what's inside. So if you look down at this floor, it's the number of tiles, right? The number of tiles um, that, that cover this specific area. If your parents or your family members work on flooring, they have to know what area is and what perimeter is because they have to know how many tiles to install on a given space. Okay, so again, the area is the stuff inside. I like to look at it as the area is inside and the perimeter is around the outline. Okay. Make sure you make those um, those little annotations because you're, they're going to help as reference as we work through the problems today. Okay, let us continue then. Just because this is some of the words I'm not going to go into uh, detail of all of them, but this is some of the words that, that we'll be using. Uh oh that we'll be using today that should be familiar to you. Next, let's start with the I do. Let me tell you about my friend, Dwayne. Okay, let's, let's say Dwayne um, installed a rectangular doggy door with a perimeter of 18 centimeters. Now, my first question is who's in my problem? Well, in this problem, I have my friend named Dwayne. And what is he doing? What's Dwayne doing according to the problem? And it's, sorry, it is, it's this one right here. 
I'm waiting for you. What's Dwayne doing? Yeah, he's installing a rectangular doggy door. Okay, a rectangular doggy door, and we see, we see it here. Now, to me, that looks a lot more like glass than door, but it's okay. Hopefully, the dog doesn't run through it. So we have four potential rectangular doors, right? But what we know is that the perimeter is 18 centimeters, okay? When we add all of the sides, because remember, perimeter equals length plus length plus width plus width. When you add all of those, it should give you a total of 18 centimeters. Well, let's figure it out. Let's look at letter A, okay? Letter A, so this is door one. Remember, they're always gonna give you, well, most of the time, they're gonna give you only two sides. They're gonna give you the length and the width. Here's my length, here's my width, here's my other length, and here's my other width. It is your job to go in and fill in the opposite side. So go ahead and do that. Come on, Danny, I wanna see you writing this. Yep, if this is three, how much is this, Danny? Yep, this is three, two. Uh-oh. All right, Hunter, the next one's for you. If this is five over here, Hunter, how much is this one? Yeah, it's five as well. So what we do is add all the sides. So P equals five plus the other five plus three plus the other three. What do we get when we add all of those? Well, five plus five equals? Five plus five equals? 10. 10 plus three, 13. Plus another three equals 16. So the perimeter here equals 16 centimeters. And we're looking for 18. So it doesn't work. Real quickly. Um, opposite sides. Now this one, remember, this is a square. What do you know about a square? The sides are congruent, they're equal. So this is three, this is three. Three plus three, six, plus three, nine, plus three, 12 centimeters. Oh, can be it. Now I know, I know some of you are looking at this screen saying, Mr. Juarez, I can just multiply three times four. Yes, you can, absolutely. Yes, but I'm just gonna add for the purposes of today. Now let's take a look at this. Opposite sides are congruent. Six plus six, so P equals six plus six plus three plus three. Esto es 12. 12 más tres más seis es igual a 18. ¿Qué creen? Ahí está mi respuesta. 18. Me está pidiendo 18 aquí. Oh, sorry. My bilingual brain turned on. It's 18. Right? 12 plus 6 plus 6. I'm sorry. 12 plus 6 equals a total of 18. And that is what they're asking me for. Now, you can go in and check the last one. But I can tell you right now that uh, that's not going to be the answer. Because 6 plus 6 equals 12. 12 plus 1, 13 plus another one equals 14. Okay? Now, I'm going to tell you something. They're not always going to be that easy. Sometimes, and I'm going to do this one here. Sometimes, they're going to give you a shape like this. So, stop what you're doing right now and pay really close attention here. Okay? Come on now, listen. Over here. Justin, right here, watch. Sometimes they're gonna say, I'm gonna make up this problem. Mr. Juarez wants to create a garden. And this is the shape of the garden. It's gonna be like this, like this, and it's gonna go like this. And they're gonna ask you for either the perimeter or the area. Now, 
I think you already have seen something like this before. Your strategy in this, okay? Your strategy here, so let's say this is um, 10, uh, uh, 10 meters. Let's say this is, I don't know, five meters. All right, then they're gonna give you other parts. Let's say this is three meters. Your strategy here is gonna be to break it up into two shapes. You can cut it like this. So you can make shape one here, this is one, and this is shape two over here. Or you could also do this, right? So you have shape one here and shape two here. But they're gonna be left with, well, how much is that side? You just look at it over here to look that this here is congruent to this. And then you, you can, you're gonna have to figure this part out. But the number one strategy here is to break it up into two shapes. And then from there, you can go and find the, the area. If they're asking for area, you can go and find the area of the first shape and the area of the second shape. And you need to look at them separately, okay? I've done a lot of talking and you know what I how I feel about about me as a teacher talking. I shouldn't be the one tired at the end of the day. You, the student, should be, okay? So I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna start us right on the we do. And after the we do, that's it. You're on your own, okay? Turn the page, let's start the next one. All right, welcome back, 4C and 4D. You guys are the lucky ones that get to have me as a teacher, a virtual teacher, right? Let's get, let's go right into it. Mm, let me just make sure that that, yep. The just says a soccer field has a perimeter. Oh, okay. I'm going to need to be doing this too. Sides, okay. Add all sides. Go ahead and write that, please. The perimeter is 40 yards, okay? So the P in total, the P represents perimeter equals 40 yards. Which model represents the dimensions of the soccer field? Okay. What do you think? Again, go and find it. Remember, opposite sides are congruent. That's a 10. Opposite sides are congruent, and you can go from there. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time because I want you to practice that on your own, okay? Do the same thing for all of them. Now, before I end my video, I wanna practice one really quickly. Ah, look at this. Kirk is building a raised garden, as shown in the diagram. Oh, Kirk, like Mr. Watt is new. He needs to build a wire top for his garden to protect the plants from the animals. So, aquí está su jardín, here's the garden, and he wants to do something that will cover the top so that animals don't go in. I'm gonna tell you a story. I have a little garden at home and there's a squirrel. That squirrel always comes and tries to dig my little flowers. I need to do what Kirk is doing. I'm putting a, uh, a wire top. That's a wire top. Well, essentially, is is something like this, right? To to help cover the plants and protect it from any predators. That's what it is. However, let's take a look at this. How much wire in square feet? Square feet. Oh no. In square feet does he need? Well, I'm going to break it up into two. Okay. You can cut it up right here. You can actually draw it on your own. And I'm going to label this A or, yeah, well, one, actually. And this is going to be my second one. Okay. And yeah, you can organize your work. So area of shape, so shape one.
and shape. Cool. Now, why is it that I have to find the area and not the perimeter? Why is it the area and not the perimeter? I'm gonna give you a, a, a quick minute. Talk to your table. When I'm working on this problem, why is it area and not perimeter? Come on, talk to the people around you. Your teacher's gonna walk around and, and listen to what you guys are talking about. Why is it area and not perimeter? You can use some of the keywords that are in today's lesson. Here they are. Why is it area and not perimeter? Remember what Kirk is doing. Okay, back to the conversation, to the whole group in three, two, one. You guys are absolutely right. I'm looking for area because I'm looking for material to cover the inside, the space inside. In this case, it's just a little, a little cover here, like a net, a wire top. If it was asking about the, the perimeter, it would have been like, how much wood do I need to buy to make the outline of my garden? Yep. So here, this the, the number one is going to be an easy one. Remember, area equals, go ahead and write this in your notes, length times width. Siempre always rewrite the formula. It's important. I know that my length is 6, my width is 3. A equals 6 times 3. And how much is 6 times 3? Says... 12, 18. So A equals 18. And I forgot my units. Don't forget them. They're feet. Feet here. Feet here. And these are square feet. Now, for the first one, it's 18 square feet. I'm going to guarantee you, if there's a questions like this on the star, one of the answer choices is going to be 18 because they know students are going to say, Oh, look, it's 18 and choose that one. But that's not true because if you only get 18, you only will cover this part. Then you also need this one. Well, OK, let's look at number two, the shape number two. From here to here is five feet. That whole thing. I do not need this part over here. I don't need that. I only need how much is from here to here. Well, if this whole thing here is five and this one here is three, that means that from here, because remember that this side here, let me see if I can use a different color because I'm probably confusing you. From here to here, okay, is congruent to this one. Right? So this is three. So if this is three, but the whole thing is five, this side over here is gonna be two because three plus two equals five. Okay. Now I have my length and my width. My length is three feet. I'm sorry, length. And my width is Two. So we go over here and plug in the numbers. Area equals length times width, which is a formula. Remember, always rewrite it. And now you plug in the numbers. The length is three times the width, and the width is two. Ladies and gentlemen, three times two equals? Quanto? How much? Three times two. A equals six square feet. And at the end, because I'm trying to find the entire space that I need to cover with the wire net, at the end, 
can you come buy these? Because I need to, I not only need to buy this, but I need to buy this too. So you will add them up. A equals 18 plus six. And 18 plus six equals everyone on three. One, two, three, 24. 24 square feet. Now these are gonna be the little bit more complicated ones, but just follow the steps and make sure you organize your work like this. Take one shape first, do your work, then do the second shape and do your work here. And at the end, combine the area. Okay, that's it for me. Continue working on these problems. You're gonna see similar problems on the next pages. Um, your teacher will be here to walk around and offer any support. I'll try to pop in and see if I can help you guys out in any way that I can. But remember, you can always rewind the video, try to watch it again. If you missed, if I went too fast in the part, you can pause, rewind, watch again, watch it as many times as needed, okay? Thank you. Remember, you're gonna work on this, and after this, you're gonna work on your DOL. Finish the packet first, the packet that you have in front of you, and after that, you're gonna have some DOL practice. And at the, after that, if you have, if you finish early, we're gonna have some extra work for you to do. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me the thumbs up so you can like this video. I'm just kidding. Have fun working.